First, I have to thank you, uh, Mr. Oberstar, for, uh, for your leadership on this issue and also uh, holding this hearing today. It's an important hearing. Um, we both have similar uh, stories to tell about uh, the progression that has uh, taken to get us to this day with FEMA under Homeland Security. I remember giving a, a very eloquent uh, uh, set of remarks in the Government Reform Committee, uh, which the proposal to combine 22 agencies into uh, one Homeland Security Department. Uh, and I, I question uh, putting FEMA and Coast Guard, exactly uh, your position, uh, into that agency, and then having it run efficiently. Uh, at the time, there was, well, first the Bush administration didn't want to do it. Then they combined it all together and uh, were trying to convince everyone it would work. And uh, I said, no way, Jose. Um, after I gave that speech, I was asked to tone down my rhetoric by the <laughs> administration. But um, it is unfortunate that what we predicted uh, came true. And unfortunately, also with uh, the experience we had with Katrina, um, I support you strongly. I'm a co-sponsor of HR. I believe it is 1174, ready to take it up at any time pa and pass it out of our committee and work uh, because it is important. And I think that today's hearing, and you're, we're fortunate you have some uh, excellent witnesses, one of them from my state. Let me uh, recognize Larry Gespert. He's uh, not from my district, but from Hillsborough, the west side of the state. Emergency uh, Management Services Director there. And uh, certainly Florida, I think, is one of the uh, premier states to, uh, that has shown uh, how you deal with uh, disasters because we've hit, been hit so many times. We're fortunate, too, I understand on Monday, Craig Fuge, our former state director, will be sworn in uh, uh, the president's uh, selection as, uh, to head FEMA. Uh, ex excellent choice. Couldn't do better tested, uh, qualified, um, sees the full picture. Um, so we're, we're, we've, uh, we've had our fair share. Even in my district, I've had three in the last 10 years. I've had three hurricanes and two tornadoes, uh, uh, fires, floods. Um, we've had everything but locusts, and uh, we're waiting on uh, that uh, uh, to come. But uh, I, I am pleased to uh, join you today in uh, continued call uh, to look at the mistakes that were made. I, I have a chart uh, which I made up. Let me let me just let me just describe in closing the problem that we face. We've just been joined by our new ranking member here. You get to see this, uh, Maria, too. But we have uh, what is it? POTUS, P President of the U.S. and. Um, We've, we've now got uh, DHS, and now we've got FEMA under here. We found, uh, in, and what Mr. Oberstar and I recommend is we have the president, and then we have FEMA here. And what we have, uh, what we had in uh, Katrina, we had the president, uh, we had uh, we had DHS, but we also had DHS, but we also had DOD, and then we had this other issue of the state um, the state national guards. Uh, we also, of course, had other agencies like Coast Guard, which did a, did a, uh, a great job, and. We, we had confusion here, here, here. Uh, we've actually put in place, I guess we, the president put in place to deal with this DOD issue, a, uh, what was it, the task force? Task force Katrina. So uh, this, is, this is what we ended up with. And this is really, I think, what, what works the most efficiently. The president really is the only one that has the ability to call out DOD and the other agencies. Uh, the chairman just described, you know, the call to uh, DHS. 
Uh, it was so somewhat humorous. Uh, everyone was chuckling. But there's so much truth to what he described. We've got to get back to that model. We lost days in here, uh, and, and people died, and we lost property. Uh, it was difficult to tell who was in charge of what. Uh, and we've, we've got to simplify that. So I'm prepared uh, for this model, and um, having the president in charge, having FEMA return uh, to its role and, and a direct relationship and ability to respond. Uh, I've asked leaders who they think is in charge uh, in several meetings we've had in the past, and uh, you get different uh, answers, even with some, <laughs> even with some of the, um, uh, the changes that have been made in an attempt to try to clarify. This is, this is the model we need, and I look forward to working with you. Finally, too, we, in the Stafford Act, we, at some point we need revisions there. We need the ability to get assets uh, for smaller disasters to communities. Mr. Ross from Arkansas and myself, we, we had uh, nightmares. I think he had tornadoes. I know I had tornadoes. I had trailers, um, and I'd love to hear we don't have the FEMA folks here, what they've done with the hundreds of thousands of trailers that they had. But we had them uh, down the street uh, in storage with FEMA paying rent on them, and I had people uh, without housing, which is totally unsatisfactory. At one point, we had six attorneys on the phone trying to figure out how to resolve the situation. Six attorneys. We ended up not being able to get them any housing. So. Just, uh, uh, again, a clear chain of command and then some flexibility so that we can make certain that when we have a disaster, the people that need aid uh, get a positive response and assistance uh, from their government at every level. Thank you.